Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FPL Now. Today I'm going to be rating your new FPL drafts for game week one. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment and also make sure to send me your teams, my Twitters in the description down below. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So the first draft that we're going to be taking a look at today is this one. So uh, this looks very, very template. You're going to see this kind of draft all over the shop for game week one. Uh, in goal, we do have Rhea. In my opinion, the best 4.5 keeper. Um, of course, there are other options as well. You like Sir Pickford, uh, Henderson as well. But yeah, I just think Rhea... With the, uh, with the run that Brentford have at the start of the season, it's not too bad. Um, I know a lot of people are going Me Melier as well for Leeds, but I, I just don't know. Like I know that they've got some nice fixtures, but Leeds, very, very shaky at the back. We saw how many goals they conceded last season. I don't know why I've been seeing a lot of Melier in people's drafts, but either way, if you want to go that way, uh, hopefully it works out. But I think Raya is a much better option. Uh, at the back, we have Trent, Cancelo, James, and Perisic. Uh, or Perisic, I... I I'm okay with seeing like Perisic and stuff in drafts. I just, I'm a little bit worried about his minutes. I don't want him to get like rotated loads because obviously he is a really explosive player if he's going to get the, the game time and stuff. But if he's going to get subbed off like early, like uh, half times or 50 minutes or whatever, you know, you're only going to be getting like one pointers from him. And for 5.5 mil um, at the back, you kind of want a little bit more than that. There are nice options around that price point as well. Trippier is only 5 mil. You got Dallow for United, who seems to have cemented that um, that wing back spot. He's only 4.5 mil. So you could easily downgrade him and um, use that money elsewhere by bringing in a, a cheaper defender. But if you do want to go Perisic, then obviously uh, it's completely your decision. But um, yeah, apart from him, I mean, this is a very template back three there with Trent, Cancelo, and James. You're going to see that, like I say, in pretty much every single draft. Um, and then in midfield, we have Salah, Diaz, uh, Bruno, Gomez, and Martinelli. Again, very, very template as well. We do have Lingard now playing for Forrest, who's also 6 mil. Um, so could be uh, a shout. You know, if he does kind of produce what he did at West Ham for Forrest, then he's obviously going to be a really good option. But um, yeah, it's, it's one of those situations. You know, Forrest are new to the Prem. Um, first time they've been there in like 23, 24 years. So yeah, you'll have to see how they uh, they kind of cope. And they've, of course, signed so many new players as well. We, we've brought in like 11, 12, 13 new players. I know a lot of people are like, oh no, if you bring in new players, you know, you go straight back down. But we had a lot of players on loan last season. Um, we had likes of Garner. Davis, Zinconagel, um, Spence, all these players on loan. So we needed to fill all those spots. So that's why we've made so many signings. Um, we've definitely splashed the cash, but we'll see how um, Lingard kind of uh, plays in that Forest um, squad. But yeah, at this point in time, I think that Bruno and Martinelli are probably the best six mil options. Um, of course, Martinelli could be on penalties as well. Martinelli's had a really nice preseason. Uh, and then, of course, Bruno played really, really well for Newcastle at the end of last season. And then up top, Haaland and Jesus. Um, again, Jesus, I think, is going to be... I think he's more owned than Salah now. And I think that's just because of how good he's been in preseason. He's, he's just really leading that line for for Arsenal I think he's going to be a really good FPL asset this season and then Haaland as well uh did score on his debut I think it was like 12 minutes in against Bayern Munich I don't think he really did much to get like for the rest of the game I didn't see it but I haven't heard like the you know that he did, was like super explosive that game and I think he just scored like a tap in as well or something but either way he did score scored on his debut um I still think Kane in my opinion, is a better option. Uh, you know, he's proven in the Prem. He's had a really good preseason. Spurs look really, really good um, preseason as well. And yeah, I just feel like Kane is not going to get rotated. He's also on penalties as well. Mares has come out and said that, you know, if, you know, he, he'd like to still take penalties. So we're not even solidified the fact that Haaland is on penalties. So yeah, for me, it's Kane over Haaland. But again, that could easily change. And then on the bench, we've got Forster, uh, Vestergaard, Andreas Pereira, and then Taylor. Um, I mean, I don't think Vestergaard is an option at all. I know he's only 4 mil, but Nico Williams is right there and he's going to be playing every single game. So uh, for this draft, I mean, get rid of Vestergaard for Nico Williams. And I mean, apart from that, I don't really see too much wrong with it. Again, I'd go Kane over Haaland. But again, I, like, that's just completely my personal preference. And then Perisic, I think you could use that money elsewhere uh, and maybe downgrade to a trip here. And if you wanted to get rid of one of these 6 mil players, you could use that 0.5 to upgrade to maybe a Rashford or something like that. But anyway, that's the first draft. This is the next draft. So Ray in goal again, 4.5 mil keeper option again. Uh, you've also got Sanchez as well, who is an also, also a really good 4.5 mil option. But 
Yeah, Raya, I think, is just the player that a lot of people have gone with. Uh, this is a very interesting back line here. Robertson, Laporte, Cash, and James. Um, for me, I would 100% just get rid of cash straight away. Villa, Villa's defense haven't been too good uh, at the end of last season or last season in, in a whole, to be fair. And I just don't like the fact that you've not got Trent in this team. Again, Robertson could easily outscore Trent this season. It's just Trent is so highly owned. If he does decide to get a haul, uh, you know, gets like a 15 pointer and stuff and you don't have him, everyone else is going to own him. It's going to really hurt your rank. Um, so straight off the bat, I would downgrade Cash to a Dallow for 4.5 and then use that extra 0.5 to upgrade uh, Robertson to Trent. Uh, also Laporte as well. There's no Cancelo here. Um, Laporte, I think, uh, is a little bit injured. I don't know if he's going to make the start of the season. So if I was going to be bringing in a City player uh, and you couldn't make Cancelo, I'd probably bring in Walker. Um, since Zinchenko went to uh, Arsenal, and if they don't sign Kukurea, I think that Walker should be an okay option. You know, no one else is going to really play that right back spot. Cancelo, I think, prefers the left back as well. So I think um, Cancelo will play on the left, and then you'll have Walker for the right. Again, that's only if they don't sign any uh, right backs. I think Walker is a good option. But again, I don't like not having Cancelo in this team. Um, and then obviously you've got James in there. But yeah, I'd get rid of cash, upgrade uh, Robertson to Trent. In midfield, we've got Neto, Salah, Sancho, and Saka. Um, so again, Sancho, you could downgrade to um, Rashford to help get that money for Cancelo. I just think you need him. Like Cancelo is another player. We saw how good he was last season. Sancho has been really, really good preseason as well. Don't get me wrong. I guess you could downgrade Saka to a Martinelli if you really wanted to, to keep Sancho. And that would allow you to upgrade to Cancelo. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I really think Sancho could be a good option this season. But, um, you know, I think this back line definitely needs sorting out. And then up front, Kane and Jesus, again, um, very, very template. And then on the bench, uh, we've got your keeper. We've got, I mean, a 5.5 mil striker on the bench. I don't think you need it, really. That's an extra mil that could be used elsewhere, like for Laporte and Cancelo. Um, and I, I just don't think you really, really need it. I think at the start of the season, especially because we all get a free wild card for the World Cup as well. I think that you don't, and you're not going to really be activating your bench boost anytime soon. So I don't think you really need a 5.5 mil keeper. I think for, for the start of the season, because we're all getting a free wild card, I think a 4 mil keeper, 4 mil defender, 4.5 mil midfielder, and a 4.5 mil striker is just the way to go. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of this draft. I definitely think this back line needs a lot of work. Apart from that, that it's okay. I would just definitely change um, this 5.5 mil striker here. And use that money to upgrade to a Trent and a um, and a Cancelo. And I know it would be very template to do that, but it, 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 you just kind of have to have them in your team because they're just such good assets to have. Uh, this is the next draft. Uh, we've got Allison in goal this time. Straight off the bat, I don't like having Allison in goal because it it doesn't allow you to have three Liverpool players outfield. Um, so yeah, Allison, I'm I'm not a huge fan of 5.5 mil as well. Um, he's not going to be making like a ton of saves as well. You got to think that these big expensive keepers they're not really going to be making any save points so most of the time they just bring six points to the table if they get a clean sheet and if they obviously concede then it's like two or one point so yeah i would get rid of allison and i'd downgrade to uh if you if you had to have like a, a good keeper in goal mendy obviously chelsea need to sort out the back i think ramsdale is also getting overlooked i think ramsdale is a really nice option too Arsenal have been really, really good preseason. Uh, this back line, I'm not a huge fan of at all. Perisic, Van Dijk, Laporte, and Cash. Um, again, we've already been over the fact that you need Trent. I mean, this doesn't even have Trent or Robertson. Van Dijk is not a good substitute for Trent and Robertson, you know. The, I mean, he will score ahead every now and again, but he's not got the attacking potential that Trent and, and Robertson have. Um, so I need I, that, ha that has to go straight away. Downgrade Allison, sort out Van Dijk, get in Trent or Robertson at least. Um, and then, yeah, you don't need cash. Perisic, again, could be a good option, but Laporte as well. You kind of need Cancelo. In midfield, you've got... This is a really weird draft, man. There's no Salah in this either. Uh, it's got three 8 mil midfielders. You've got Saka, Mount, and Diaz, and then Bowen as well. I don't think West Ham have the best opening, like, fixtures. I know they play Forest like... I think it's like Game Week 2 or Game Week 3 or something like that. Diaz, Mount, and Saka with no Salah. That is... That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think this draft definitely needs a lot of work. You need Salah in this team. I don't think you need Bowen. I've not seen Bowen in really many drafts at all. I mean, Man City at home isn't the greatest. For, I mean, he did score, I think, like twice against them last season when West Ham played them. But 
um yeah that salah needs to be in this draft like diaz isn't a good substitute for salah and van dyke is not a good substitute for trent and robbo um so yeah that midfield needs changing uh yeah 10 player at the top jesus and harland you got rare in goal on the bench uh you don't need it like you don't need two playing keepers um on the like that you that's an extra 0.5 that you can take another brighton striker as well it's an extra mil you, you've got 1.5 mil on the bench that you just don't need um and you can use that elsewhere and then yeah nico williams and Pereira, they're fine yeah this this is probably like this isn't the greatest draft i've seen this definitely needs a lot of work 100 percent um you need to start out the back line you need to start out the midfield you need to get salah into this team you need to get trent or robertson in this team cancelo in this team drop Allison. like if you drop Allison um into a 4.5 mil keeper that's a mil there you can drop the raya to a four mil keeper that's another 0.5 mil and then that's another mil there if you drop to a 4.5 striker that's like what 2.5 mil three mil that you got that you can just easily pump into the rest of your team but yeah not a huge fan of this definitely needs a lot of work the final draft we're going to go over today um this was sent to me like a week ago before zinchenko signed for arsenal which is why he's still a city player still a good option as an arsenal player uh, but Rea in goal. Uh, and then, yeah, so Zinchenko, Laporte, Chilwell, and Trippier at the back. No Liverpool defense at all. Um, this has got, this is a really interesting draft because you've got Kane and Haaland up top. And then you've got Sun. And then you've also got Sterling as well. Um, this is, this is a really weird draft. Hang on, let me get my head around this. So you've got like three premium players. You've got Sterling, who's what, like 10 mil this season. You've got no Liverpool defense. You've got Chilwell over James. No Cancelo uh trippier and bruno as well and what's the bench saying yeah okay so the this is the bench which is fine you got your 4.5 mil players and your four mil players there um but yeah you, you've kind of got rid of salah for sun you've gone double spurs you brought in harland sterling as well i don't know i feel like tripling up on city you, with no cancelo i think is a bad shot i think you definitely need cancelo in this team um I, I'm not sure what I would do that right. So I'd probably get rid of Zinchenko for Dallo. Um, I mean, I'd probably downgrade Sterling to a mount if you have to have a Chelsea player. And then that's like an extra two mil there. Um I'd I'd only go with one of Kane or Haaland. I don't think you need both. I know that Haaland's a really good option for game week two against Bournemouth, and obviously Kane's a really good option for game week one against Southampton, but you kind of just have to pick and choose. And that's what FPL is. You really have to just kind of choose the right players at the right time. Um, but yeah, you need Liverpool defence in this team 100%. Uh, maybe, I mean, Chilwell could be an option instead of James. It really depends. Um, I'm not, I've not got a lot of trust in Chelsea backline at the moment, uh, which is why I got rid of Mendy on my draft. But um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, when you go with three premium players like this, the rest of your team is, is definitely going to take a hit. And this is exactly what happens. Like, like I say, no Liverpool defence there. Um, the midfield's kind of all over the shop as well. Like... Yeah, I don't know. This is probably my least favorite draft. I don't know. Like, obviously, the, the upfront looks really nice, but it, it just hurts the rest of your team so much. Um, so, in terms of ratings, I mean, I'd probably give this just like a an 8 or a 9. Like, you just need to change Vestigar to Nico Williams, and I think this is just absolutely fine. Uh, this draft, um, I mean, it's not too bad, but you definitely need, like, Cancelo and Trent in this team. You don't really need cash, uh, and you don't need this strike here. So, I'd probably give this like a 6. This, I'd give a, like, a 4 just simply because you haven't got Trent or Robertson. Um, you've got no salary either, like a three or a four for this draft. And then this draft, I'd probably give like a two maybe. I just think that it's completely going against the template. It could pay off, you know, it definitely could. But if it doesn't, you kind of like screwed your rest of your season up because you'd have to bring in all these players and you'd take hits for it and stuff. Not a huge fan of it. But either way, that is going to be everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you want me to rate your teams, make sure to send them to me. Twitter is in the description down below. Leave a like. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers as well. Please do subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.